Go on now, Iyengu. Nechka is still resting. Hey, Tlasoli, we're here! Oh, what a surprise. And even Shilonin is here too. Ja, wir sind gekommen, um Neshka zu besuchen. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen you, Auntie. I received Neshka's letter. She wanted a copy of To Kill the Brave, right? Well, I've brought the book for her. There are several editions of the book in that land, and I wasn't sure which version she'd prefer. I asked a messenger from the Science of the Canopy. It seems this softcover edition is one of the most popular options, so I brought it for Nechka. You haven't changed a bit, Shilonin. Let's go inside. I was just boiling some shokoaddle, so you can all try some. Shilonin used to love drinking shokoaddle. When she was little, she would always have several cups every time she came to visit me. You were already a big girl by the time I finally had my Nechka. All right, for now, let's... Oh. oh, Auntie, let's go inside. Traveler, please help me get her into the house. Tja, sicher gern. Oh, Paima will help too. Be good, Yangu, and don't get in the way. All right, let's uh, get indoors. Watch your step, Auntie. Na gut, dann gehen wir mal hinein ins Haus. Werden wir dann da überhaupt ihre Tochter vorfinden können? Ist jetzt erstmal die andere Frage. Sorry, Nechka's illness has been flaring up recently, so I was up for a few nights. I suddenly started to feel dizzy in the sun. I hope I didn't scare you. Have a seat. I'll fetch you a few cups of shokoaddle. Please wait a moment. Oh, I've already brought them over. This cup's for you, Auntie. And these are for you, too. Shokoaddle? What does it taste like? Paimon's heard that it can be pretty bitter. Traveler, could you give it a try first? Oh, don't worry. Auntie always adds a lot of sugar. It won't be bitter. Ist auf alle Fälle heiße Schokolade doch, oder? The last time you came to visit, you were still just a kid. But now you're a pillar of the children of Echoes. No, of all Natlan even. Oh, well, it's all thanks to the drinks I had here and the books I happened to read. Dann seid ihr also schon lange befreundet. We heard that you two are from the same tribe. But Paimon had no idea you were so close. When I was little, my parents were always talking about how skilled Auntie was at forging ancient names and how she was a good role model for the rest of us. The moment I became idle at home, they would toss me into Auntie's workshop to watch and learn. Then I would have your parents go back, boil you a pot of shokoaddle, and let you play in the house. Yeah, and then I would drink and listen to you banging away with your tools in the workshop. But eventually, she moved out of the tribe to find some more space, and I didn't have the chance to visit again after that. But why did you seem so familiar with the place when you went to the kitchen for the drinks just now? Because the layout of this place is identical to her old house. Let me see, uh-huh, yeah, that should be Nichka's bedroom then. That's right. <laughs> I remember you used to hunker down in the room to read and draw. But you're all grown up now. Even if you wanted to live here, I'm afraid you've already outgrown Nechka's bed. Ihr beiden wirkt als wärt ihr eine Familie. That's how Nechka sees Shilonin too. Whenever she's feeling better, 
She always asks me when her pen pal sister will be coming to visit. Well, yeah, I'm here now, and even brought a gift as an apology. I'll leave the book here. You said Nechka asked you for the book? I hope it wasn't too much trouble to get. Really, I'm surprised that she even asked you for a present. When she's at home, she'd even ask me for permission to eat some snacks. <sighs> Maybe I've been too strict with her. She's obviously starting to like her big sister more than her own mother. Oh, really? Well, I'd say I really haven't done enough to deserve the title of big sister. Yeah, I uh, wasn't able to help her when she was sick and I didn't even come and visit her that many times. Well, the only thing I have been able to do is to help her find some books. Don't be too hard on yourself, Shilonin. You have great responsibilities as the name engraver of the tribe. We both know you are far too busy to take care of her. The responsibilities on your shoulders also became far heavier when I... gave up on my work. You just had more important things to tend to, Auntie. No one in the tribe blames you. We all know that Nechka needs her mother's care. But that doesn't change the fact that I gave up on my work. And even now, I still have not found the courage to pick up my hammer again. I'm sorry to leave you to shoulder all the responsibilities alone, Shilonin. <sighs> oh. Oh, why so somber all of a sudden? I... Uh... Don't be so sad, everyone! Hasn't Nechka gotten better lately? Oh, pff, relax, Auntie. I can handle the work. But once Nechka is back on her feet, you should get back to work and let me have a vacation. You'll be the one who's busy then, and I'll be sitting at the side drinking shokuwaddle and cheering you on. <laughs> if that day really comes, you can have as much shokuwaddle as you like. Und wie konnte Neshka denn so krank werden? If you asked me before, I wouldn't have even been able to talk about it. But now that she is gradually recovering, I've also gained some courage to face what happened back then. Neshka's illness actually originates from the abyss. That night, I was in the tribe, having a discussion over the forging of new ancient names. Before we could finish our discussion, the alarm started to ring outside. A horde of monsters from the abyss suddenly attacked the tribe, so everyone banded together to fight them off. I joined the fray as well, and it wasn't until the monsters were repelled that I got back home with some guards from the tribe. But Nechka was gone. I can't remember how long I spent searching for her. Maybe for two or three days. In the end, we found Nechka at the bottom of a short cliff. She was holding a dried up embercore flower in her hand, and there were traces of abyssal corruption around her wounds. I know. It was all my fault. Before the incident, Nechka had asked if I could forge an ancient name for her. Work was busy at the time, so I told her that if she could find an embercore flower, I would use it as material to forge her an ancient name. Oh, Nechka, my daughter. My Nechka. I was holding her in my arms, but no matter how many times I called her name, she wouldn't open her eyes and look at me. I was the one who decided to move my workshop to the outskirts of our tribe for work, and I was the one who left her home alone. Oh, my daughter. My Nechka. Why do you have to suffer like this? She already has the strength to write letters now, doesn't she? We, uh, well, Shilonen has even brought her a gift. Ja, es wird schon alles wieder gut. Sorry. I just can't control myself whenever I remember that time. Phew. All right. It's not every day that we get guests. I really shouldn't be crying like this. I asked someone to buy some ingredients for me. So, why don't you stay for dinner tonight? I'll make some shrimp bisque, grilled fish and mint sauce, and tower tacos. Oh, help! That sounds like a lot to make, and we don't want you to tire yourself out. 
Ja, ich würde gern mal meine Kochkünste zeigen. <lacht> Thank you both, but don't worry. It's just a few dishes. I'll be fine. You three just need to make sure everything gets eaten up. I can't eat a lot at this age. Oh, we haven't had anything to eat yet, so don't worry, we'll make sure there are no leftovers. Ich verspreche, die Teller werden blitzblank sein. Ah, it just occurred to me that Shalonen likes to eat cheesy crab hot pot. Why don't I make that instead of the grilled fish and mint sauce? I remember you don't like picking out fish bones. Also, das mag beim besten Willen doch niemand. Nah, both are fine with me. I've learned to just chew up the fish bones now. Oh, come on now. If you don't want to pick out the bones, I can just take them out for you. Anyway... For dessert, would you like a cup of grain fruit or chocolate? Cup of grain fruit. Uh, chocolate. How about a cup of grain fruit mixed with chocolate? Okay, got it. I'll go start cooking, but could you do me a favor in the meantime? I ordered a bunch of ingredients, and they should be here any minute now. Would you go check by the door and see if they were already here? If so, please bring them in. Come on, Shilonen. Stop lying around. You shouldn't nap before dinner. It'll ruin your appetite. Hey, hey, I'm not a kid anymore, you know. You don't have to worry about my appetite. That's beside the point. If you don't watch out for your health while you're still young, then when you get older, you'll... All right, all right. I'm getting up. We'll go check on the ingredients with Shilonen. It isn't far, so it shouldn't take us long. <sighs> that kid. Na gut, dann suchen wir doch mal nach den Zutaten. Also gut, wo ist denn die Lieferung? Hm, anscheinend noch nicht ganz da. Waren hier nicht eigentlich vor ein Monster? Messenger from the Science of the Canopy wouldn't be flying here. They usually come climbing down the cliffs nearby. No need to look. There isn't anyone on the cliffs. Uh, sollen wir dann noch weitergehen? I, I just saw a ghost. <laughs> hey, you there? Sorry, but does Tlasoli live around here? Oh, are you the one who's supposed to deliver the ingredients? Ich sehe aber keine Zutaten. Ingredients? Are you kidding? I was nearly eaten myself. <lacht> Never mind that now. Those monsters are still hot on my heels. Please, you've got to help me. Shilonen, we uh where'd she go? Whoa, she's already got up to fight the monsters. Uh, let's go help her out. Naja, ich sehe dabei jetzt aktuell bloß ein Monster. Judgment, light out. I will have order. Gather. There is no escape. Time for retribution. Yeah. There is no escape. 
escape. Order guide. Hear the echoes of the valley. That should be it for the monsters. Yeah, it was easier than I thought. Oh, it also seems we're in good luck. The goods weren't damaged either. Strange. We didn't see any monsters on the way here. Du hast sie doch nicht provo provoziert, oder? Yeah, right. I use this road to deliver goods all the time, and I've never been attacked like this before. It's the main road in and out of the tribe, so people often come here to clear out any monsters. This area is usually very safe. I don't know what happened, but it seems like all the monsters around here have gone berserk. Even the docile Tepetlosaurs are in a frenzy. Tlisoli doesn't even forge ancient names anymore, so why can't she just move back to the tribe? If she comes back, Nechko will even be able to find some playmates. She's so young and hasn't even... Um... Uh... Nechka's playmates. No, wait, I, I feel like my kids have played with her before. They've even told me about Nechka's favorite game. If I remember right, it was... strange. I always remembered it before. <sighs> How could I forget all of a sudden? Look at that! He has a Blaze Gem inscription too! Hmm... Scheint, als gäbe es einen richtigen Markt für diese Inschriften. You should go back to the tribe. It seems like you had quite the scare today. We'll take the ingredients back for you. I'll carry these bags, and you two can carry the rest. Kein Problem. If you say so. Thank you so much. I guess today's just a really bad day for me to go outside. Hmm. That's so weird. Why is everyone we run into today having trouble remembering stuff? Und alle tragen diese Glutkristall äh Glutkristall Inschriften bei sich. I'm not so sure how to say it, but she's got a strange feeling about this. Like it's all somehow related. Once you live long enough, you'll eventually start experiencing strange days like this. Let's bring the ingredients back. Otherwise, we won't have anything to eat tonight. Tja, aber der Verdacht scheint sich jetzt beim besten Willen zu erhärten, dass diese Glutkristalle äh, Erinnerungsfragmente in Bezug auf Neshka aus ihren Besitzern entfernen. Oder extrahieren. Und dann den Kristallen speichern. Sehr verdächtig, sehr eigenartig. Ah, you're finally back. What took you so long? I was starting to worry. Oh yeah, we uh, ran into some small problems, but everything's fine now. All right. As long as everything is okay now, you all have a seat. I'll get the food ready. It won't take long. Glatzoli macht sich an die Arbeit. Nach einiger Zeit steht ein viel zerköstige Gericht auf dem Tisch. Oh, there's so much tasty food! You're amazing, Glatzoli! They were all pretty simple dishes to make. Don't be shy. Dig in, everyone. Womit möchtest du anfangen, Paimon? Herself. Um, Paimon will have some of this, and uh, this, oh, and this! Oh, yeah. Can I get another serving, please? You, you're done already? Do you even chew when you're eating? Of course. Didn't I say that I chew up the fish bones? I'll have just one more fish and leave the rest for Nechka. It's okay. Just go ahead and eat all you'd like. Nechka can't eat these dishes anyway. 
Her body is too weak to digest these kinds of things. I'll just make some broth for her. Oh no, but Paimon thought she'd already recovered from her illness. Injuries caused by the Abyss cannot be undone. The doctor said the fact that she's stable is already quite a miracle. But it's okay. Nage can talk to me now and can even hold my hand. That's more than I could ask for. Even if she will never again know that I am her mother. Wh what do you mean? The doctor said the Abyss has had an irreversible effect on Nechka's soul. She... She's lost all her memories from before she was injured. Tja, und daher hat sie ja gesagt, die Glutkristallinschriften entwickelt, um so eine Möglichkeit zu haben, die fehlenden Erinnerungen durch alle anderen Personen, die Neska ja kannten, kennengelernt haben oder mit denen sie in Kontakt kam, ja, zu nutzen, um die beschädigte Seele zu reparieren. Eine interessante Möglichkeit. Auf Kosten der Erinnerung anderer. The doctor also said this sort of memory loss isn't like simply forgetting something. Rather, she can no longer remember anything from before that fateful day. Huh? But how does that happen? You know about the woven scrolls that the masters of the Nightwind use to record things, right? Well, generally speaking, Forgetting things is like when the woven scrolls would gradually start to fade. As long as you repaint and weave the threads again, the faded memories will come back to life. But the case of Nechka's memory loss is as if her woven scroll had been cut in two, and the portion of the past was burnt to ashes. The books she loved to read, the flowers she took joy to grow, and the time she spent in this house were all cut off by the abyss, and can never be retrieved again. As one example of that, Nechka now only sees me as a strange, unfamiliar auntie who claims to be her mother. She's a good kid, and doesn't want to upset this lady who's been taking care of her so much, so she still calls me mom. But I've always had a feeling that she's constantly wondering about things like, where is her real mother? Why is she stuck here in this house? Was she abandoned? Nechka really has no idea that her real mother is right in front of her, and has never left. So you plan on recreating Nechka's woven scroll all by yourself? Tja, Zilon hat's erkannt, was wir auch schon erkannt haben. What do you mean? Or should I say, you've already started reweaving that scroll long ago. Eine Glutkristallinschrift. The delivery guys. I saw it hanging from his waist, so I asked to borrow it from him. Don't worry, I'll return the inscription to him once we've figured everything out. These things aren't cheap, after all. When did you know? Yeah, I, I noticed it back when Blaze Gem inscriptions suddenly became popular among the tribe. It was then that I also noticed that everyone wearing Blaze Gem inscriptions had varying degrees of memory loss. Traveler, you've picked up on it too, haven't you? Tja, die verlorene Erinnerung von allen stand im Zusammenhang mit Neska. Accessories made using ancient names forging techniques. <laughs> For what's only supposed to be a pretty souvenir, this inscription contains a phlogiston engraving with a truly overkill level of complexity. The shapes and patterns of these engravings are also identical to that of an ancient name. By making just a few slight adjustments to the layout and connections of the main pattern, you can pretty much qualify this Blaze Gem inscription as a bona fide ancient name. And yet, you've never told anyone about these engravings in the Blaze Gem inscriptions that can be activated at any time. <sighs> Am I right, Auntie? I knew you were a sharp one, Shilonin. That's right. I have a way to cure Nechka and restore all her memories. It's actually quite simple. I want to forge an ancient name for Nechka that contains all of her past memories. Aha, aber antike Namen müssen vom Wyob genehmigt werden. And the reason they must be approved by the Wyob 
is because the memories they bear are all stored within the ley lines. Extracting those memories from the ley lines requires the Wyb's assistance. But your plan wouldn't need you to do any of that, right, Auntie? Your Blaze Gem inscriptions will help you complete that part of your plan in the ley lines' place. You will use the inscriptions to form a massive memory bank for Nechka. And the ancient names you're trying to forge will be used to extract corresponding memories from the memory bank. A memory bank? Wait, so the reason all those people were having trouble remembering stuff is because the Blaze Gem inscriptions took away any memories related to Nechka? Tja, auch wenn Neska ihre eigene Vergangenheit vergessen hat, wurde ihr Leben dennoch von anderen wahrgenommen. Ist ja quasi jetzt genauso ungefähr, wie ich es ja gesagt habe im ersten Sword Art Online. Kinofilm. Pro... warte mal. Ordinal Scale. Using other people's memories of Neska to reconstruct her past? Ah, this is the first time I've heard of such an idea. Äh, wie schon gesagt, die Idee kommt ja äh, aus dem Film Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale. You've seen through my plans, Shilonin. You're as outstanding as ever. Far more brilliant than me. I intend to use this method to collate all the memories related to Nechka and allow her to regain her past again. But wouldn't extracting memories like that hurt the person carrying the Blaze Gem inscription? Not at all. Every time a Blaze Gem inscription extracts memories, the process is under my precise control. That way, there's no chance of anyone in the tribe getting hurt. This is the central inscription that controls all the other Blaze Gem inscriptions, which will also soon serve as Nechka's ancient name. You made all of this yourself, Tlasoli? Auch wenn es kein offizieller antiker Name ist, ist es trotzdem eine gewaltige Aufgabe für dich allein. Yes. It was lots and lots of work. It was truly exhausting. Or perhaps I've just grown old. You saw it yourself. I nearly fainted just from being in the sun. I could collapse tomorrow, or even in the next few moments. But Nechka's ancient name is still far from completion. I've solved the issue of storing memories, but I still don't know how to connect Nechka up to this central inscription. I've thought you just modify your own ancient name. I considered it, but this matter doesn't have anything to do with my ancient name. It's of no help to me, and I don't need its help now. You know the price to pay for making something like this. Yes, I do. But as long as I can get my Nechka back, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Hm, stimmt ja. Bei der Herstellung eines antiken Namens opfert man am Ende, oder besser gesagt, bei der Herstellung eines neuen antiken Namens opfert man am Ende sein eigenes Leben. Otherwise, Nechka won't have any chance of reclaiming her past once I'm dead and gone. She won't remember me, and she won't even remember why her name is Nechka. When that time comes, she will be left to drift around the world all alone, unknowing of where she came from or where she should go. She is my daughter, the one to whom I gave the Nechka name. Whether it be as her mother or as a name engraver, I can't simply stand by and let her name disappear. Shilonin! Psst, lass sie einen Moment zum Nachdenken. <sighs> I'll take the central inscription with me. I'm going to completely disassemble it to confirm its components and uses, and I won't make any promises until I've checked everything. Say goodnight to Nechka for me, Auntie. Oh, wait. I've also finished the inscriptions for the Traveler in Paimon. Let me fetch them for you. I'm sorry it took me so long to finish them. <laughs> Hold on, Auntie. The Traveler in Paimon have never met Nechka before, so you can't draw any memories from them. That wasn't my intention. They're just ordinary gifts. Please, take them. Huh? What was that noise? Nechka must have woken up and wants to get out of bed on her own. Sorry, I'll go check on her first. 
Nechka, don't try to get out of bed. Just tell Mom if you need anything. You go ahead and take care of Nechka, Auntie. Let's go, Traveler and Paimon. There are a few things I want to tell you. Da mal raus mit der Sprache. Irgendetwas, was Lazzoli uns jetzt nicht erwähnt hat, wirst du uns jetzt sicherlich erzählen. Irgendeine weitere Funktion der Steine. Oder irgendwas, was Lazzoli jetzt nicht bedacht hat. Lass uns zuerst in den Stamm zurückgehen. Ich muss noch einige Dinge aus meiner Werkstatt holen. Okay. Da reicht natürlich jetzt ein einfacher Teleport von Ort zu Ort.